I would like all of you to know we're not in this together. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Two Dumb Babies. Yeah. I'm not going to do my name. No. You know our names at this point. <laughs> or, or you don't. Or you don't. Fir- and this is your first, first time. <laughs> well, I, think, I know. Everyone does everyone. that. Every single episode of a podcast, people say their name. I'm whoever. And I'm yeah, just like, exactly. okay, your name's in the title of all yeah, this shit. For real. I get it. I can read, asshole. Mm-hmm. This, is, this is a podcast for people who can't read. I'm Willie Simon, and that's Eric Friedman. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to say this, this is... every time because we assume uh, our audience is illiterate. Yeah. We're going to do the next episode in Braille in case you're deaf and yeah, exactly. blind or something. It's all, it's all in ESL. <laughs> <laughs> what if you're deaf, blind, and singe your fingers and have no feeling? How do you, you're screwed. Yeah, I just said English is a second language, also not a. What, what's the uh, ESL, ESL is ESL is like for Engli- Mexican kids when they come yeah, to yeah English is a American. second language. What was yeah. the uh, American sign language? ASL. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I didn't even. I was paying so little attention to you at the beginning of that, I didn't even realize what you were trying to say. Yeah, no, yeah, I was ASL. fucking up over here, and uh, you weren't even there to catch me, dude. Oh, no. That's fucked up. I'm like doing my I thought own. we were partners in this. <laughs> we're doing you like let me se- say ESL, and you're like, ooh, blind guys. <laughs> we're doing like separate podcasts. Yeah. I'm doing an intro, you're over here like fucking losing your mind. <laughs> You're like, hey, welcome to the podcast. Like, remember ESL? What was that about? <laughs> <laughs> ASL Slowly. and ESL are way too close together. Like, as uh, yeah, in terms well, of I mean, acronyms. What is what is English AS- as a second language? Yeah, and then and what's ASL? American sign audio, language, audio sign language, audio <laughs> yeah. sound language, audio uh, sound <laughs> garden language, <laughs> audio slave language. <laughs> Um, yeah. What would you, would you rather be here and have to learn English again or, um, or be deaf? <laughs> I think I'd le- rather, uh, are you asking me if I would rather Mexican or deaf? <laughs> Is that what you just asked me, Eric? <laughs> no. <laughs> Did you really just ask me if I was, if, you, if I wanted to be Mexican or deaf? I'm going to go with Mexican. <laughs> 10 times out of 10, I'm going to go Mexican. <laughs> Every t- without a without even a second thought. It's not what I asked you until <laughs> until you put a label on it. <laughs> until you put it into words I can understand. <laughs> until you put what it all shitty rather? like that. It's really not what I I said. <laughs> there's other there's other people who don't know you? English when they get here. What would you rather do? Uh, learn English as a second language or be literally deaf? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, how lazy are you? Are you, are you, are you at this point? Yeah, like, yeah. like, I'm too lazy to learn another language. Would you rather be deaf or have your last name is Rodriguez? <laughs> You're like, wow, dude. It's a... <laughs> Rodriguez. I feel like we should start this podcast again. <laughs> no way. This is great. <laughs> this is good stuff. This is like I think this is like a microaggression. I think that's what this is called. <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> no, yours was a microaggression. Maybe no way, dude. I was asking it's you like a simple you... question. <laughs> it's like, would you rather ESL or ASL? <laughs> <laughs> Which class are you in? I mean, I already answered. I, I chose Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> They're both different classes. They're both. You don't get to be in the normal class. <laughs> I think the same thing as being like, your parents hopped a border, right? <laughs> it's not the same thing. <laughs> it is the same thing. Eric's a racist. I disagree. That's what that we're learning this, this episode. Eric hates Mexican people. <laughs> That's not true at all. Plaster that. <laughs> That's the title of this episode. <laughs> title it up. Let's title it up. <laughs> My best friends and second family are all, <laughs> are all Mexican. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and you've resented them ever since you met them. <laughs> He's like, God, I wish you guys were deaf. <laughs> I mean, so much better. <laughs> You're the one who made it a race thing. I made it a second language thing. I still think there's a difference. <laughs> I was just trying to compare ESL or ASL. That's it. <laughs> I mean, but who's in that? Who's in the a- a- ESL classes, though? You know, Korean kids? Not really. You know, I don't know. Possibly. Probably. Probably sometimes. I don't even know if I had. No, we had ESL at our elementary school. Yeah, yeah, we had ESL too. Yeah, ESL too. You had to, you had to yeah. Get, yeah, graduate. Was, uh, <laughs> yes, English as a second second language. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, I mean, yeah. I made it to Spanish too. 
Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, it's a Japanese three. Wow. <laughs> you can almost speak Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, if you take Japanese to the highest level in college, you can speak Japanese like a second grader. Oh, yeah. That's like what the equivalent is. That's right. There's, there's like no point that's... in ever fucking learning <laughs> Japanese. Yeah, like, so I can still barely speak a language. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like learning fucking like... I don't know, like astrophysics. You got to be born to it. You know what I mean? That's I not, don't think that's not how anybody. Anybody can do astrophysics. You know what I mean? Like, you have to only be born a specific to a, people. You have like, to kind of like your how Japan has to be an astrophysicist. <laughs> yeah, or something like. Or you at least got to be born smart enough. Well, you yeah, know? you do have to in be Japan, born smart it, enough. If you want to speak Japanese, you got to be born in Japan enough. <laughs> that's the only way true. to learn Japanese. I think other people have learned Japanese. Yeah, and they sound like five-year-olds. Dude. It's possibly true. <laughs> when they're it does take a while. Yeah, it's fucking. Apparently, it's super hard. <laughs> Even if like you... the best fucking Japanese speaker in like Germany is like go 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 go. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you went with the baby talk instead of Japanese. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> talk. Because that was what I was gonna ask you is uh is if you take three years of Japanese, can you at least pretend to speak Japanese without sounding racist? Um, I, depending on if you're doing the accent. <laughs> okay, well, when you were taking Japanese, were you supposed to try and do the accent or no? I mean, yeah, but I always like, I was always like, Hajime Mosh. Yeah, like, yeah. Hajime Mosh. <laughs> like, yeah. That's like, that's well, a that's little, a specific. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> teacher's like, that's no, you're not doing the ap- part of accent Japanese. right. And you're yeah. like, oh, okay, that's, <laughs> uh, you're not doing, that's not even that's a word not the anywhere. Accent. You're, just, <laughs> you're just being insensitive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that was a whole thing in uh, with taking Spanish too. With also, you're like trying to. Uh, they're like, at least attempt to do the accent. You're like, no, I'm not doing that. Mm, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> now but in, other, in other languages, like in German, you got to do the German accent the whole time, though. You know? Yeah. It's like, it's that's... only with white languages, you're allowed to do the accent. <laughs> yeah. You know? well, if you're fair. doing like other people's languages, you know? Also, also, I feel like German is 90% accent. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's just making up fucking syllables and yeah. doing the... We've, got, z- z- us, 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 uh. <laughs> We've gone over this. Uh, G- German's not a real language. Yeah, German isn't a real language. It's a bunch <laughs> it's of a fucking... Feeling. <laughs> yeah, it's a bunch of whispering through your teeth <laughs> and using as many syllables as you can. Zeusen, 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 Zeusen. No, that's Austrian. That's German. What? Austrian? Okay, so Austrian's a real language, but German's a fake language. Is yeah, that what yeah. you're telling me? Arnold Schwarzenegger's from Austria, right? I think, yeah. Hitler's from Austria? Yeah. All the see? Germans I know are from Austria. <laughs> see? Is Germany Austria, even a country? Real place. Germany <laughs> made up. I don't know a single German. Germany's I think all about it, I only chocolate know two, and engineer. I only know two Germans, Hitler and Schwarzenegger. <laughs> I haven't heard of a single other German. <laughs> Name me a German. Yeah. The, <laughs> it's a, nope. An Austrian. Yeah, nope, a Austri- French person. <laughs> yeah. <is> a- <laughs> yeah. Coco Chanel. Like, no, she was just a traitor. <laughs> All Germans are traitors. That's uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you become German. You're like, are you a traitor to whatever your nation was before this? Hi, <laughs> right, welcome to Germany. I can't name a German guy. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I'm trying to think of one. <laughs> well, I can't either now. <laughs> but but now I can't even name a bunch of fake Germans either. Yeah, exactly. Um, Otto von Bismarck. Yeah, that's probably a German Einstein guy, right? Was, or no, that was, was he that also was Austrian. He's probably Austrian. He's probably or he was definitely Jewish. And I think the Germans yeah. read. They kind of. Turned away all their well, Jews. Well, he left. That was the whole. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was the whole turning point. In Anyone who's German Jewish is now American <laughs> Jewish or dead. <laughs> There's no more German Jewish. Isn't that crazy. People. Einstein had more to do with with us weren't winning World War II than anyone else. Like at yeah. all. It was just the the one guy they pissed off enough to make him leave Germany <laughs> in yeah. time and build the nuke. <laughs> yeah. Ow. <laughs> Larson's back. He hasn't been on a podcast in a while. Yeah. Right. Welcome home. What do you think about Einstein? <laughs> that is the best revenge. Him. Yeah, that is the best revenge. He's like, and, he's like, what do you mean we're not using this on the yeah. Germans? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we're using this where? Yeah. What the fuck? Come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I built this for that guy. Not do you know your... how much I went through? <laughs> <laughs> so we would have this. I'm like Nagasaki, where in Germany is that? <laughs> it's Naga, not in Germany. <laughs> Naga, not in the right country. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hiroshima, he I think was, that's uh, an Austrian. In, he was also a fan of Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> like, he, had, he had a good sense of humor. <laughs> or a bad sense of humor. Yeah. It was you a good think, sense of humor back then. You think Einstein watched Charlie Chaplin? is like too close to home. 
<laughs> Possibly. Okay. That guy looks a lot like someone I know. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't an accident. That was all on purpose. He was like the original Tucker Carlson. Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> yeah. Like all the Jews were like, I don't trust that guy. <laughs> Original, uh, Even if he is very ben, popular uh, and entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Always comes back to Hitler, I feel like, you know? We come back to Hitler we a get lot. get there a lot. It's, we do. Yeah. I, um... I don't know. Is that... Oh, who's the, um... Who's the NASA guy? I think he's an actual German. The guy who, uh, the guy who started NASA, yeah, the guy probably who started NASA. I think he's, he's for a sure German. Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> I know the only Germans I can name are for sure Nazis. <laughs> Can't name any other Germans. I can name some that are like met when I was there, but I don't know if they're full Germans. I guess, but there's this guy Tom. Yeah, but I mean, um, you know, important <laughs> important people. There's a uh, people that matter. Yeah, <laughs> people that have done something. Not Tom or whoever Tom from Germany. Uh, that yeah. sounds like a fake person too. For you totally made that guy. Fewer or something. <laughs> Furter. Fewer. Uh, yeah, I met, this guy, I met this guy. Fewer. You're, you're talking about uh, Hitler. Fuhrer, again. Fuhrer. Oh, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Shit. All right, so well, who was this, the guy I hung out with? Well, there was this really big <laughs> buff guy. He won, uh, he won the Mr. Universe <laughs> or something like that. He was in Kindergarten Cop. I'm talking about Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, he, God was, damn it. he was the leader of California. <laughs> <laughs> He's the Fuhrer of California. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no more. That's a title that died with Hitler. <laughs> Fuhrer. Yeah, you're never. There's never Can't another Fuhrer. Yeah, man, that's a what a title to live down. <laughs> yeah, a, seriously. To like, uh, I mean, that's pretty good. I saw. Um, as, speaking as, of getting a lot of press for being a horrible person, there was a guy who was like a serial murderer, and he got he got in uh, in deadline before me. <laughs> that who? makes me sad. I don't remember who it was, but he was on like he was on the um, the dating game. And then he murdered a bunch of people. Oh, I did hear about that. That um, was like in the sixties, though. Yeah, but he just died, and he got like an obituary on Deadline or on <laughs> in Variety or whatever in the trades. I was That's like, hilarious. all right, I don't. We're all fucked. That's crazy. Yeah. So they're, they're well, like, you're not an actor, you know. You gotta I know, branch out. Still, if you wanna if you wanna beat the serial killer guy yeah, also, in Deadline, not an actor. <laughs> you gotta get an acting. <laughs> yeah. Right. He was on a game I mean, show, and they murdered people. I feel like if you murder people, that's like. It's like being TikTok famous, you know. Everybody knows you. Yeah, you're maybe not you're an act. Maybe you're not an actor, but you know, people know who you are. We're all like, don't murder people. You're not going to get your 15 minutes of fame, and then we're giving them just huge fame. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. Not even 15 minutes. You're also famous again when you die. You are. Yeah, right. Legendary, dude. If you publish like, a book, you're making a million dollars. Yeah, guarantee. Maybe one of us has to murder people. Then this podcast will pop. <laughs> Is that what we're missing? Yeah, we haven't murdered anyone. And then we could turn it into a murder mystery podcast. And you're like, this week, guess who murdered last week? <laughs> <laughs> this week, can you catch us? <laughs> it's a murder mystery. We're killing people every week. That's that's when the murder mystery <laughs> podcasts are going to eat themselves. <laughs> yeah, exactly. When that podcast starts. <laughs> That's the, the murder the mystery. Can one. you find me? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be terrifying. That sounds like a fun, uh, like a like a campy, like Hallmark horror movie kind of thing. You know? Yeah. That'd be good. See, I should write shitty yeah lifetime horror movies. movies and yeah, not like lifetime movies, but lifetime like, do. But like you know, like a shitty horror movie. I don't know where you sci-fi movies, like Sci-Fi Channel. Yeah, that's like the lifetime well, they did network like shitty of sci-fi. Like, yeah, but like they do horror too. They do, do they? like they're like the Lifetime Channel of horror and sci-fi, <laughs> the sci-fi channel. <laughs> so many different things. <laughs> well, I mean, but yeah, I see what you yeah, do. See what you're saying, lot. but yeah, you know what I mean. Of uh, yeah, of horror, I guess. Washington, you're biting my. People hand. just try whatever with horror because they're cheap movies to produce. So they're like, I saw yeah, Zombievers once. You ever see Zombievers? No, I haven't, but I did want to. Was Zombievers it any good? Is, I mean, you know, it's awful, but I mean, you know, it's good. But also amazing. It's so it's so bad. It's good. Like that's yeah. what those movies are. They're like. But yeah, if if you don't know, if you couldn't figure out the premise from the title, there's there's zombie beavers at a campsite. <laughs> I I was gonna guess that <laughs> a bunch of nuclear waste got dumped on some beavers and they got <laughs> and they became zombies. It's just that's that's what it was. I what's crazy is like someone had that idea and then and then 
all the stuff that needs to happen to make a movie, which is so much. I just, happened. I know, like <laughs> like years of work. Like you had to so hire actors work. and everything. S- hundreds of people were like, Can you yeah, imagine, I'll do like, this. Writing it, dude, you gotta be like a week into writing it and you're like, all right, dude, I hate this now. Like this isn't even fun anymore. You imagine getting notes on it, <laughs> yeah. having to rewrite that? <laughs> You're like, and they're like, all right, there were some holes. You're like, yeah, there were some holes. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's called zombie. Yes. Yeah. All right, we got to figure out Act Two of Zombie. It's not very strong. Oh no, shit! Act Two of Zombievers needs work. Obviously, <laughs> every act needs work. It's it'd not. F- it's not made to be good. It'd be fun to be one of those writers who writes all like the fake Transformer movies or the, yeah, the just the, like right. shitty off movies. Yeah, seriously. They're like, hey, don't expect much of me. Dude, I bet. I bet they go to the fucking Bahamas every spring and yeah. like they have a great life they make they make a whatever barracuda nato and they yeah. just they, I did, even, they even rip off shitty b movies <laughs> like sharknado i did coke for the weekend and wrote you a movie and now you make it i don't yeah, care exactly. no leave me alone <laughs> like well we've I'm got some more rewrites coke. we want no i'm not doing rewrites yeah. <laughs> no i told you <laughs> Willie Simon only does one draft <laughs> i'm not rewriting zombie verse nine that's <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you were stupid enough to make nine of these <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly i'm not gonna make another uh fast and the angry <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah fast and the slightly perturbed <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> quick and the those, quick to anger those movies they don't exist as much anymore they existed a lot in uh when like blockbuster was around because it would just be in blockbuster a little bit before the actual movie was released so they do like the fake ring they had like ringu or whatever really i don't remember <laughs> yeah. that at all that's like, awesome this is the real story but it, like all looks the same and they do a fake transformers it'd yeah. be like tra- tr- transformer it'd be like tranny formers <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> or something like just barely They're like machine shifters yeah the plural <laughs> would be at the wrong spot whatever yeah. it was one letter off, and it, the whole the whole business idea is just to trick people into buying your yeah, movie. Yeah, it was to <laughs> trick people. You could get it into rental places; they'd pay enough for it that you'd make some money. Why would the rental places pay for it? I feel like it would only know. hurt their own reputation. Yeah, it it'd seems be like stupid. oh yeah, fucking blockbuster carries Transformer, the yeah. one that they didn't. There's no S at the end, so it's a totally <laughs> different movie. <laughs> and then, like, also it's. It's like uh, it's like I'm not I think going it, back to this blockbuster. I think it costs just as much to rent. I'm I don't sure think it's, it's different I mean, price. It's just crazy that the that the rental companies were in on it yeah. like that. Like they allowed that. There was Especially, like anacondas, I mean, and then there was like big snake, yeah. <laughs> very large snake. I'm like was that the movie? Yeah, boogie nights, dancing evenings. <laughs> <laughs> people will get them. Enough people that. Production companies made livings off of it. Mark Mark Wahlberg is still in Dancing Evenings. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'd watch this. <laughs> let's, let's rent it. It's, it is crazy. Just... He actually shows his dick in Dancing Evenings. It's crazy. <laughs> Everyone's a real. <laughs> it's, it's not even the poor man's. It's just him again. Yeah, it's just it just, him. That's where their whole budget went, I think. <laughs> yeah, they just got Mark Wahlberg. I think they just paid it for doesn't the look like they paid a lot. <laughs> At that point, why not just make porn? Yeah, right. I I can I feel like I feel like I can make a good porn. You like, know, like directing, writing. Where are you? Yeah, like where are you in this porn? You know what I mean? I'm like What's directing. Your, you're like I'm like a writer, director, producer. <laughs> yeah, I'm like the Paul Thomas Anderson of actual <laughs> porn movies. Not not movies about porn. Real porn. <laughs> kind of do gonna do every. I'm gonna do my own lighting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You ever seen a Bo Burnham's new special? I'm gonna do that, <laughs> <laughs> but with porn. <laughs> Mine's gonna be deep inside. <laughs> yeah, gonna be a lot of uh, camera adjustments mostly, and then and then sex for two minutes, and then more camera adjustments. <laughs> My, I, my, Dude, I, I take him to space inside my hand. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah see, the ca- the every angle is shot like this, so I'm my face is in the corner the whole time. It's like I'm doing like I'm a selfie. I'm doing a selfie. It's gonna be Bo burn victim. Everyone's gonna want to see <laughs> where I'm a burn victim because it's not up here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, 
I'd shoot a porn like space or something. That'd be cool. You don't think they've ever shot like you'd actually go to space? Well, I mean, I do the zero gravity plane. I'm not, I'm not like you don't made think of they've money. done that. I don't think they've done that. I think they have. Show me. <laughs> Pull it up. I don't believe you. Zero gravity porn. Like, yeah, it's not over here. If anyone's watching, show us. Yeah, pull it up. Send us, let us some know. zero gravity porn. Pull actually. it up. Pull it out. Because I think I'm a visionary. And I'm pretty <laughs> sure I'm a visionary. If, if it's been done, I'll fucking kill myself. So, so Someone find send it. it. So send it, please. please. Just <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can you please send the video so I can blow my brains out? <laughs> this week on the Murder Mystery <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> I, I did it before you could. Whoa. <laughs> I did not see the murder mystery podcast coming to an end this way. It's more like the murder suicide podcast. Am I right? (laughs) What a grand finale. Yeah, what an ending. This is a this is a real finale. A real twist. I love a podcast with a twist. (laughs) It's like when a podcast is like some D A D episodes, you know? You're like, wow, this is interesting. The whole time I was watching it, like, wow, they're really stupid for for posting their crimes. And then then they got out of it. Like, wow. Brilliant. What a, what an ending! <laughs> also, number one podcast on iTunes. They yeah, decided not to take huge. it down. Did you know <laughs> Larson gave him all their ideas? <laughs> <laughs> Hex, the son of Sam did it. Hex, <laughs> boo! <laughs> Murder suicide we, podcast guys outed as Hex. Saw it coming the whole time. <laughs> one star. <laughs> <laughs> Stop rating my podcast. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we're already dead. You, you don't have to leave new reviews. There's no more episodes. The Murder Sue podcast is over. Yeah, the Murder Sue. <laughs> <laughs> this has come to as big a close as possible. <laughs> there would still be people commenting. Dude, the Murder Suicide podcast would be awesome. You can do a you can do a whole series on Chris Benoit. <laughs> You can have a blast with it. <laughs> <laughs> what about a podcast that just like it's just like the ISIS of podcasts? It just takes credit for every murder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ISIS takes uh, they take credit for everything. Yeah, dude, I know. They're like uh, always after. They're the like fact. the they're like they're like the fat Jew of terrorism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did that. Put yeah, my, yeah, that was put my handle on it. At yeah, yeah ISIS. that was me. I made that. That was ISIS. <laughs> Like really? It didn't seem like a, like a terrorist attack at all. Just <laughs> yeah. you guys got in an argument in a bar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, no, we punched that guy in the face. That was our black eye. That is a good way to do terrorism. Let's let's armchair terrorism right there. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, nah, it was me. Yeah, we haven't done anything in months. Right, don't, don't say that. <laughs> we have to come up with some new terrorism. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, Dude, people terrorism. are just, we're just people having to take like, credit for other people. <laughs> yeah. We're a meme now. <laughs> <laughs> like if people can fucking, if people can do armchair activism, we could definitely do armchair terrorism. That's not, <laughs> that's not that hard. That's not a stretch. You know, Middle East hasn't done anything, any terrorist attacks in years. I know, they've fallen off. They dude. did like they four really back have. in the day, and then they're just like, well, I, I bet no one knows any other terrorists. We could just take credit forever. Yeah, exactly. It'll be us. I know. They're like the Rick Ross of terrorism. <laughs> they haven't done anything since the 2010s. Is Rick Ross still around? Exactly. Who knows? Yeah, I don't Is ISIS so. around? I don't know. <laughs> Rick Ross got diabetes, was outed as a cop, and left the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was done. It was funny. Uh, people were more mad about him being a cop than at, uh, that verse where he's like, I put Molly on, on a drink. She ain't even know it. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's like, this is a good song. <laughs> this song's good. I like where he drugs girls. Yeah. Um, Wait, he's a cop? But... <laughs> Get him out of here. <laughs> and I agree. It is bad that he's a cop, but <laughs> I think the rape thing is worse. Yeah. It's still, <laughs> still probably worse. It's like he like he had a job. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He was in the correctional facility, I think. I don't even think he was a yeah, street he wasn't cop. Even, he wasn't even a cop. But that's where he got all of his... I feel like correctional officers are worse than regular cops. Worse? I mean, I, I guess uh, as a like whole, it... regular cops are worse. I bet, I bet individually, correctional officers are way worse. I feel like correctional officer, you don't choose. You're like, this is where you are, and you're just like, fuck. I feel like correctional <laughs> officer, you just have, you're at liberty to just beat the shit out of anyone at any time. And I guess that's cops, too. <laughs> but... Yeah. Like they I take like, the same uh, oath. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the exact same. Actually, when I actually talk about it, it's crazy. They just have the freedom to do whatever. They, oh yeah, 
<laughs> hey, they can just do anything they yeah, want. They're totally with above no the law. They run everything in this oh, institution. Uh, oh right. wow! <laughs> <laughs> I get it now. You know what? Correctional yeah, officers are less better. likely to use their gun. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't think they even I, I have think. guns. <laughs> I, I really have no clue, but... Well, she didn't look at my ankles. Dude. <laughs> Any exposed skin. <laughs> yeah, I know, dude. He's a, he's a fiend. If Larson could drug you fiend. so he could just lick you, he would. That's the type of dog he is. I'm going to put a bunch of acid on my ankles before I come next time. He's going to be like, Whoa! <laughs> he will not stop licking your ankle for the yeah. whole podcast. No way. I think he'd or hate ever it. Again. I think I think this dog would hate acid. Yeah. There's for sure some videos of this. Do dogs like hallucinogens? Yeah. You ever had that friend who's like, I'm gonna get my dog high and everyone's like, Don't do it. Don't do it. And then yeah. you're like, I'm gonna get him super, I'm gonna get him high and he gives him acid. <laughs> and you're like, Whoa, dude, <laughs> no, 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 I thought it was weed. The weed thing. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were gonna blow go like to a sleep. bong rip in his face. <laughs> yeah. That's he's, at least it's kind of cute. Yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be awake for twelve hours. He comes back talking. Yeah, wow. <laughs> he's enlightened. Yeah, you don't know which dog you're gonna make. Yeah, right. You can fucking son uh, of Sam dog or a Doctor Doolittle dog. Yeah, I'm thinking like a like like Osiris or like an Egyptian god dog. Oh, whatever, yeah, Anubis. Whatever Anubis? the fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, I am Anubis. Anubis do- yeah. God of death. <laughs> like, damn it. Oh no. Just get your dog stone, dude. You turn him into Anubis. <laughs> you got him high on acid. Now he's Anubis, god of death. You idiot. <laughs> you just put a tab in his mouth, and all of a sudden he just stands yeah, up. He just stands. <laughs> You're like, oh man. Finally, I have been released. <laughs> oh no, we made a mistake. This hey, is... Pour some Bud Light in his mouth. See what happens. Now. <laughs> I also took acid, so this is scary. <laughs> yeah, is this the is this my acid or the dog's acid? I don't know what's happening. Either way, I'm fucking horrified. <laughs> yeah, you can't can't overdose yourself too during the dog. Like if you give the dog a little bit, you also give yourself a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one for you, one for me. <laughs> I don't it's like, think I'd... it's like a mouse. It's like if you, if you give a mouse a cookie, you know. Yeah. If you give a dog some acid, he's gonna want to become Anubis, god of death. <laughs> <laughs> when he becomes Anubis, god of death, <laughs> he's gonna want a cookie. He's gonna want a cookie or some more acid <laughs> or, or something, or the know. souls or... of the or of the of the devoured. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. gonna want the souls Never of the devoured. Did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when he wants the whole souls of the devoured, you have to do another type of acid. <laughs> I hate this book. <laughs> this book's so this boring. Book is so intense. <laughs> <laughs> the pictures are also gory. <laughs> those are the books. Those are the original Dr. Seuss books. That was what he was writing yeah. before. He's like, all right, I got to make some money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dr. Seuss horror. Like Stephen King wrote a million horror books. How come Dr. Seuss didn't? Yurtle the Turtle, that'd be a sick horror ad- adaptation. <laughs> Just, of Yurtle the Turtle. It's like It, but it's Yurtle the Turtle. That? That's, the, <laughs> that's the origin of It, I think. There's a turtle and there's It, and they're the original two really? beings really? of the universe. It's It and a turtle? I think so, yeah. It's, is it Yurtle the Turtle? I'm going to be honest. I'm not sure because I, I haven't read it, but I've, I've been told about it. It's um, a turtle? So there's the first two beings of the universe where it was a clown. No, but it's not a clown. It's like a, it's something else. It just, it embodied a clown down on earth. But Is it it's a turtle? A Maybe it's a turtle. Maybe, Maybe it's, it's also a turtle, but it's a shape-shifting two turtle. turtles. Maybe you're the turtle is it. <laughs> there's two turtles. <laughs> See, exactly. Might as well be. Why we not? We can tie those universes, the Stephen King and Dr. Seuss universes together. <laughs> People don't know this about Stephen King, but he stole a lot from Dr. Seuss. <laughs> yeah, you know, Cat in the Hat is the monster yeah. in 1917. <laughs> <laughs> Hop on pop until the devil spews out of his mouth yeah. and becomes a clown. Hop on pop and actually his belly is the dome. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen King is someone who never got told no or didn't get told no enough. <laughs> Stephen King, he was just a, I think he was just a violent alcoholic, and but he was no, like cokehead too. Yeah, yeah, and, he is big, and he would just fucking do a bunch of drugs and he just write books. Yeah, which is like so many words, so awesome, dude. There was... I wish I, if when I do drugs, I don't have the inspiration. I gotta go work. Yeah, you know what I mean, like, good for him. 
The 60s and 70s, it was really, if you could do coke and write a lot of words that sort of made yeah, sense. Yeah, dude, you were You were in. huge. And honestly, <laughs> like, they were, there's some scary books. Yeah. It's just, He's like, written some good stuff. Yeah, for real. Like, He's also not, written some horrible not, stuff. No, not good, not all no, good stuff, yeah. but. <laughs> His book on writing, horrible book. <laughs> really? One of the books what's, everyone what's tells the... you to read. <laughs> Awful. What's the awful book? book. Just write everything down and publish it. He's like, when I was a kid, <laughs> I got sick, and so I started stealing comic books and writing them as they were my own and selling them at school. No way. <laughs> and That's like, hilarious. all right, so you're a thief immediately <laughs> with no original ideas. I forget. Somebody... What kid doesn't have their own original comic book idea? I know, right? <laughs> Dude, I had a, I had like a fucking flying skateboarder superhero when I was a kid or something. Yeah, it's some terrible thing original ideas. Yeah, some <laughs> shit that no one would ever listen to or never read. But I think I read about some other author who, like, they would just, like, copy down fucking Ralph Waldo Emerson for yeah. fucking, like, and just rewrite their shit until they were like, well, now I write like this guy. I think it is a way to do it, actually, when you're a kid. Because, like, if you think about kids who become really good musicians, they generally start out copying oh, yeah, totally, favorite dude. people, at first playing their songs, and then doing their version of their songs. Yeah. Uh, and that's... Even adult so you're musicians just learning. do that. You're, it's true. <laughs> yeah, but... They, adult they, musicians, like, they this did is it note way too for late. note. <laughs> 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 that's the thing. You gotta do this it This is the note for note song of uh, Under the Bridge. We're the Red Knot Chili Peppers, and we have a billion dollars, probably. <laughs> <laughs> when you're a kid, no one's like, oh, thief. They're just like, ah, oh, they're young, yeah. and, and they're really talented, and they're but like, they don't have cool. their own ideas. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's not like fucking... Like, if you saw a kid doing Dave Chappelle, you wouldn't be like, that kid stole those jokes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fuck you. Those are someone else's jokes. You like, should beat well, the shit out of them. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. You think you're fooling anyone? <laughs> hey, cancel this kid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we know that's a Jimi Hendrix song. He's like learning Purple Haze. It's funny because no, to... you, you can't cancel a kid as a kid, but you can cancel them once they're an adult. For being a kid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like five more years, there's gonna be someone when, when they were seven, what yeah. was that? <laughs> You'd be like, look at this video of Prince stealing a Jimi Hendrix song. You're like, no, he's playing he's a Jimmy playing a- <laughs> He's learning. He's like seven in this video. <laughs> <laughs> it's just him doing his best at <laughs> Yeah. I don't think Prince was seven when Jimmy Hendrix was right. No, but still. They were like the they were almost I think they're like the same yeah. age. <laughs> They were fans of each other, so sure, I would hope so. But I thought Prince was like the eighties. Prince, I think he started late seventies. Hendrix I died. Wrong. I think Hendrix died in the sixties. I don't think he made it. I I wish my my rock and roll knowledge was better on all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, you were like a it's touring so, band manager. How do you I, not know any of this? I wasn't touring with Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, or I Prince, can tell. I guess okay, look, true. I can tell you that uh, we I did work with the tour manager Eric Barrett, and he was touring with uh, Jimi Hendrix as his tour manager and guitar tech. Um, when he was 19. Wow. And he's in his 70s now. Yeah, I bet. That sounds like a long time ago. So, That's if you crazy. can do math. Yeah. <laughs> you know the picture of the of Jimi Hendrix putting the guitar like through his cab yeah. and someone holding it up? That's Eric Barrett. He's holding the He's holding He's the, the guitar cab. he's shoving. He is the guitar. <laughs> he is the speaker netting. You ever seen that video of Jimi Hendrix stabbing his guitar tech with his guitar? <laughs> And he bleeds every- That's the guitar tech. <laughs> he died. That's Barry. I worked with his ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I worked with his very angry and vengeful son. No, he, it was, I think, th- I mean, that was during the 70s, I know for sure. And he helped make it so, like, roadies got paid money, basically, like, paid properly, not just like, Damn. hey, you want to be my friend who comes out on the road and gets drugs? <laughs> That's fucking crazy. He's, he's like, like hey, the, we deserve like money the, for this job. He's like the Cesar Chavez of roadies. <laughs> <laughs> in a way, yeah. He's like Dude, someone he's, should pay us. <laughs> he's like, yeah. He's one That's of the wild. one of the. Hey, bros. we can't. We won't be paid in acid. We won't <laughs> be paid. Everybody, we won't be paid in acid. We still get yeah. acid. Yeah. Well, yeah. Of we course. can buy we the still acid. Want acid yeah. But if you get money, you, you know, can if you buy. Have money, you can buy. Yeah. It's like that Simpsons <laughs> joke. <laughs> like candy, candy, money. It's yeah. Money. Oh. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. <laughs> Woo! That's that's exactly what it was during that time. You had a bunch of people who were like, "I want to be paid. Fuck yeah, I want to go tour and have sex with girls and do drugs." And they're like, "You can get paid doing this too. Like this is yeah. a job. Yeah, you can you can buy drugs and girls like money. You could probably still have sex." <laughs> I don't know. 
They thought you were getting paid. That's the <laughs> yeah, whole, that's that was why they, they were begging you. They didn't realize <laughs> they you didn't were just you. like homeless and, and out with the band. <laughs> You're basically just a guy who lives in a really cool van right now. <laughs> we took my van for the summer. This yeah. is my home. <laughs> They the tour bus their... is just the Hamptons of vans. Are they so still live in a van? No, they said I could come if I drove all of us <laughs> in my home. <laughs> Man, I wish we had roadies or people that wanted to have sex with us on the road. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what roadies are. Yeah. What do you think or I like, was doing for I, the I last thought you eleven were years? Rome. I thought you were fluffing Rome. <laughs> Or before, you know, like what the I mean? last eleven I was, I was years, you were on tour stuff. fucking the band for money. <laughs> <laughs> no, you were like uh, Eric Wilson's pleasure doll, right? That's what you described it to me as. You're like a pleasure doll. I was like, I don't really know what that means, but all right. But it pays well enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eric's doing he's okay. okay yeah, he's doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like pleasure dolls should be paid more. <laughs> Rody groupie, very different things. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, like, I wish we had a. Uh, I guess not roadies, groupies. Okay. But there's comedy groupies. So you want very different thing. Yeah. But there's there's comedy groupies. That's true. I'm yeah, wrong. There are Forget some. I even said anything. Yeah. This we was, we don't good. have them specifically, but yeah. well, they comedy do exist. roadie would just be like, "Hey, do you want to? When do you want the light?" And you're like, "I told seventy people, leave me alone." Like it's there's not <laughs> Why enough do I going have so on. So many people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's me and a microphone. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's really <laughs> not a lot. I don't need any roadies. But even like Kevin Hart. When well, here's he brings... your mic tech. You're like, it's good. It's fine. Leave it alone. <laughs> even when Kevin Hart, when he does like stadiums, I think he has like six people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And three of them are just his friends hanging out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's the guy for the fire. Yeah. Uh, and the sound guy and a light there's, guy. There's the girl he's cheating on his wife with. <laughs> and then... I guess she's uh, a groupie. That's, that's different. <laughs> that's different in each yeah. state. You don't bring them with. <laughs> yeah, right. That's not really a roadie. That's the other side. <laughs> no, no, that's what I call a roadie. <laughs> yeah, it's this, it's a, it's this groupie. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you're like working for the band. You're like, I want a new name. I want a new title <laughs> yeah. for my position. Can I have a thing? Can I have like a specific <laughs> title? Yeah, you're a. Uh... You're it's the, the IE part that's bothering me now. Yeah. <laughs> you're the uh, you're the pleasure doll. <laughs> oh, thank God! I'm At sick of Eric hoarding cool. all the positions. <laughs> yeah, each pleasure doll does one position. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's it. I'm the doggy style pleasure doll. <laughs> Eventually, I'll get to do sound or a guitar tech <laughs> yeah. or something. But <laughs> I play guitar really well. I actually. I was told there'd be a lot of opportunity. I've been setting up and tuning Andres. the drums every day, but I'm still called the pleasure doll. <laughs> yeah, I'm still the doggy <laughs> style pleasure doll. This is bullshit. I haven't done doggy style in months. <laughs> <laughs> in the seventies, that was when the the roadies were like, "All right, we need we need some like something we can give." These these girls to get them back here to fuck the band instead of us doing it like a pass of some sort. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a job. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. we're not gonna pay them. <laughs> they want to be back here. Yeah, I don't want to be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> the first pleasure doll. Hey, what about VIP? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, I was really, I was really hoping I could just be guitar tech. <laughs> I don't know how this pleasure doll stuff is. <laughs> Yeah, That's Elvis. Fun. Elvis stole from the black community and the gay community, <laughs> <laughs> banging his roadies all the time. <laughs> um. Yeah. He stole from the fat community too, or at least the stunt. Double, yeah. Not stunt doubles. Impersonators. <laughs> yeah. He stole from the stole from the heart attack on the toilet community. Yeah. At what point is it not stealing and just a thing you do? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My hair got. Looked at as it was a uh, cultural appropriation, yeah, <laughs> so right. I don't know because I just wake up and, it, and this is my hair. I know that was so funny, <laughs> Denny at the haha. I'm just like, oh, the afro, huh? Interesting. That's the hair you're gonna wear. <laughs> yeah, I was like, my hair. I was like, yeah, it's super cool, right? And he's like, yeah, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> you sound mad that you can't grow it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Literally do this every day. <laughs> It's a great fucking afro. Thing. If I wear if I wear a pick in my hair, you can get mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, Eric's going by Jive Eric. I yeah, don't like it at all. <laughs> really weird. 
<laughs> can get mad at me for being lazy and not getting a haircut. <laughs> yeah, you know those those big haired Jews. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's the that's the right one. Um, that was a nose joke, huh? Yeah, it was a nose joke. It didn't land, but that's okay. Maybe somewhere in land. the podcast world, somewhere out there, someone was like. I got it, Willie. That's a great big nose Jew joke. No. And I'm like, thank you. Someone may have gotten it. If anyone was like, that's a great joke, then I hope they fucking stop listening. Dude. Stop. Stop. You're, chasing, not, a, you're not wanted you're here. You're chasing away all my fans. You judge us. Cut it out. You judge us har- harsher than that. <laughs> no. You, that's a good joke. You tell us. Thank you for most laughing. Most of the jokes were bad this week, but thank you for a laughing few at that, that were joke, okay. Sir or ma'am. <laughs> Mainly, you fucked up a lot. You are a, you're a comedy connoisseur. And and I appreciate you for laughing at good jokes, even when they're not appreciated, <laughs> live in front of me. So thank you. This is a this is the first week we've been drinking on the podcast in a while. That's we've, not true at all. We've been okay, so we've been drinking <laughs> coffee, but we've been doing shots before and in and after the podcast. Yeah. Um. But it's the first day. It is the first week we've been drinking on it, you like know, having Eric, a drink. Why don't you just Why don't you just rat us out for all the other things? I'm also. You think they think I'm this also, is coffee? <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I guess maybe water. I was just gonna say, I have to pee and I'm sweaty. I'm, we were already in for the. We're, I know. We're already in. But that's what I'm saying. Like now, all the audio people are gonna be like, "Jeez, those fucking, those alcoholic." Pigs. Oh, that's true. I am ready. All the audio people the are audio like, people. "Jesus Christ." Audio people. I didn't you realize. I thought this was a. <laughs> I thought this was a good Christian clean Listening podcast. Listening to us in your car while you furious. jerk off and honk your horn. <laughs> yeah. They're probably driving around their car like, I want to get drunk. Those assholes. <laughs> I can't drink and drive. Yeah. Turn off this shitty podcast. Where alienating they... people who aren't watching us in bed at home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> people with jobs. They're they're at work. Like I want to get hammered. Fuck these assholes. <laughs> you need a flask. These guys suck. Yeah, carry a flask. Um. Carry flask. That's the sign off. Yeah, um, I'll take that. That's our uh, that's our new sign off. Flasks are good. Flasks are good. Um, let's do dates. Do you have any dates? Same as last week. The, the we have something on the second. Something on the second. At the Oaks. At the Oaks in Sherman Oaks, California. And then I'm at the Roosevelt in California. I I forget the date. I think it's like the sixteenth. It's like the sixteenth. No, it's the 16th. I'm going to be gone for that. That sucks. You're going to be gone? You're going to be in Hawaii already? Yeah. Willie's going to be in Hawaii soon. I'll be I'll be in Hawaii on the 16th. I'm going to be in Oahu 16th and 17th. I'm still waiting on dates for that. And then August 23rd. You just said dates. Huh? You just said two dates. I know, but I'm still waiting on... Uh, Which one you're going to be doing? A comedy show? Yeah. Or okay. maybe both. I don't know. I'm still waiting to hear back from them. But so 16th or 17th? 16th or 17th or 16th and 17th. Very, <laughs> very confusing. Um, and then... Uh, very professional shows. <laughs> yeah. And then August 23rd, I'm headlining the playground in Maui. So come hang out. Come see your old pal Willie live. Um, August 28th, I'm at the Haha. And then... Uh, uh, August 11th, I'm in uh, Ventura Harbor Comedy Club with oh, yeah. uh, Gareth Reynolds. And probably a magician or tap dancer or something other yeah. weird. Well, Gareth has been recently doing magic and tap dancing, <laughs> so he'll probably be doing all three. God, I hope so. I hope he does both <laughs> while he's doing stand-up. That would be fucking <laughs> yeah, awesome. Really, that would be, that'd be Gareth. <laughs> like, I don't know what he's doing. He doesn't know what he's doing, but yeah. this is fun. <laughs> this isn't written. Like, really? <laughs> it's no. magic. It's he never knew where he was going to throw those balls in the air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this sword, this lady sword box thing, all riffs. Like, that's terrifying. <laughs> That yeah. shouldn't be written. You know who never riffs magicians? <laughs> yeah. Everything they do, totally written. They're not fucking... Is this your card? Holy shit, I got it. Oh, oh thank God. <laughs> who's that? That's like uh, the uh, fucking... Who's the guy who has the... Uh, is this a regular deck of cards, right? And everyone's like, oh, yeah. yeah. And like, amazing oh, Jonathan. Could've... Yeah, the Amazing Jonathan. <laughs> That's what it is. This is a regular deck of cards, right? Well, could a regular deck of cards do this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also all written. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even all written. comedy magicians, That's not fucking, also fully written. Not a riff. He had to make that deck of cards do that <laughs> beforehand. Did do a lot of drugs. Yeah, uh, a, lot of, a lot of coke. Um, but why not? Why comedy rock do? and roll magician. Yeah. He did it all. <laughs> I almost wish I was a musician or a musician just so I can do or a musician. A, me, a musician? Yeah. A, a magician or a musician, I could do more coke. A magician who plays music? 
God, I hate that person so much. Yeah, that's the worst. <laughs> I hate that. So I hate much. that person more than a uh, magician c- comedian. <laughs> yeah. I had a um uh, um I I saw a show where a guy is uh, half a magician and half an Elvis impersonator. Which half? Well, uh, I had a joke <laughs> where it's like his whole act is like I am Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he hypnotized me to thinking he's Elvis. What a good he use hip- of what a good he, use of that hypnoto- yeah. that hypnosis thing. He hypnotized me with his hips <laughs> like Elvis. Yeah. He just shook him around. Hey, mama. All right. uh, you are getting sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he puts something in my drink again. It's not Elvis, it's Bill Cosby. <laughs> I can't tell the difference between these impersonators. Yeah. I'm getting sleepy. No, I'm getting horny, Elvis impersonator. <laughs> Quit shaking those hips. <laughs> I'm getting horny as fuck. All right. I'm hating our endings more and more. I love them. And they're, great. <laughs> they're very fun. Um, hey, you guys are the best. Thank you so much for listening and watching and all the other ways you consume this show. Um, we hope you're still here next week. Yeah. I, I think, think that's the be. new sign off. I think I, I hate that. No. It's very, it not, doesn't not have good. any confidence in no the confidence. show. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope you're still here next week. That sounds like. It's like the. Sounds like the like ER. It's like the off. first, like the first time you have a crush on a girl, and you're like, "I really hope you like me too." Do you? Will you go out with? Yeah. It, would will it you, be uh, if you um, don't go out with me? It's fine. I, I I wouldn't either. Would I be disturbing your weekend <laughs> if I was in it or something? Yeah. This is an emo, emo podcast. <laughs> I was listening to a lot of pop punk earlier. I blame that. <laughs> it's um, my fault. Yeah. Quit listening to Eric or pop punk <laughs> or whatever the hell he's talking about. Um. Thanks so much for listening. We love you, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. Thanks again for listening to the Two Dumb Babies Secret Podcast. If you enjoyed this, be sure to subscribe on Patreon at patreon.com slash two dumb babies, where you can get every episode for just $1 a month. Pretty, pretty good.